Hey folks, temperatures warmed up across most of the valley today into the 90s. Some places didn't get above 90 because of some showers in the area, but these are the currents. 87 in Raymondville, Port Isabel checks in at 85, while it's 90 in Brownsville, 93. Back in McAllen this hour, and the dew points are right back up. They dipped for a time this weekend, but boy, I tell you what, they came right back up. Humidity is right back with us again. Anywhere from 71 in the west to 78 in the eastern part of the valley. We'll put 74 on the muggy meter, so we're right back into that very humid category. It dropped down to about 68 over the weekend, so still muggy, but a little bit more refreshing. Overnight lows tonight, upper 70s, low 80s. Depends on where you are. The island about 82 for a low. Skies remain partly cloudy, and then tomorrow, we're warm again, back over 90 almost every place except the island. Isolated showers can't be ruled out tomorrow. I think in Cameron and Willis County is most likely. And even there, the stuff will be pretty spotty. I think most areas will stay dry again tomorrow. With that, we're back to an average high of 93. We do that again on Wednesday. And then Wednesday night into Thursday, our chance of rain goes up. So I think Thursday, probably the coolest day of the week at about 89 degrees. There's where rain was today. You can see it in the eastern part of the valley, and we'll take a closer look. And again, you watch that radar loop and stuff fired up. It crosses a lot of uh, Cameron and Willisie counties and make its way off to the northeast with some rain along the coast. Here's where rain fell, and you see the biggest bullseye on the island, kind of on the north edge of town, about two to two and a half inches of rain there. Then back in eastern Cameron County, 1.3, Boca Chica Beach, almost a half an inch of rain. Then eastern Willisie County, you get out close to the coast, about an inch of rain there to the north of Willamar. Here's what it looked like on satellite radar together, all the action in the east, but let's look, look at future track. Tonight should be a quiet night. We don't expect anything to flare up overnight, but during the daytime tomorrow, an isolated shower possible again, primarily coastal counties. And then Wednesday, things change a little bit. The upper levels of the atmosphere cool a little bit, so that destabilizes the atmosphere a little. And a front's going to stall just to the north of the valley. And along that front, showers are perhaps a thunderstorm, a possibility. Now, it may take all day to get here, but when it does, I think it may linger into the nighttime hours this time. And you see a fair amount of rain overnight, Wednesday night, and even into Thursday, maybe some leftover stuff along the coast. And then after that, it kind of fades away once again, but we go 20, 30, 50 and Wednesday's late in the day and really Wednesday night into Thursday. That's probably our best chance for rain. Some of it lingering into Thursday. Rest of Texas relatively quiet right now. The front not quite in the state yet, but it will be tonight. It'll continue pushing southward, working its way through Dallas by Wednesday and Wednesday night into early Thursday. It's just to the north of us. Winds may shift to maybe out of the northeast for a little while as the front stalls Wednesday night and Thursday. It's the clouds though and the showers will keep temperatures down just a little bit and then by Friday the front's off the map but there's still some instability around still a lot of moisture around because the front never goes all the way through we still have that soupy air on top of us so the chance for showers will continue even after that front is off the map look at the tropics a lot going on out there let's kind of circle the important stuff remnants of kirk down here moving off to the west still has a 50 percent chance of coming back to life the next two to five days but there's a lot of shear gonna have a tough time making it into the caribbean up here kind of side swiping the east coast perhaps another system that has a chance of developing subtropical storm leslie sitting out here in the atlantic gonna make a circle and there's also another system to the north of that. Watch the forecast path for this stuff. This stays south and into Hurricane Alley, but there's a lot of shear. It'll have trouble holding together. This one could bring more rain to the east coast than this. Just round and round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Coastal forecast at home tonight. Southeast winds 10 to 15 knots. A moderate chop. UV's high, very high. High tide 4 of 7 in the morning, then a low, then another high. Tomorrow afternoon, just before 4 p.m., seas just a foot or two. So tonight, a low of 77, just patchy clouds. Should be a mild night. South southeasterly winds. Then tomorrow, back to 93. Isolated shower possible. The winds continue out of the south southeast. Here we go. Next seven days, a couple of 93s. We cool it off on Thursday with that chance for showers and thunderstorms. And then the chances don't go away, but they kind of fade a little bit on Friday. Back to 90. You look at Saturday, Sunday, Monday, back in the low 90s with isolated showers still a possibility. That is your updated first one five forecast.